All right, so you'd say you are done with your circle painting, much better than the one shape I have. Our next painting is going to put our face right here. Now I have, um, well, first of all, you're gonna take this off very carefully. When you do not pull it fast, you will rip the paper. You wanna pull it away from the paper, not this direction, not straight up, but away from the painting, slowly. And these uh, tape should come off fairly easy. Okay, and then you're going to set, when that's all the way off, you're going to set that aside, and I'm going to show you how to draw a face, okay? Now, we are, if we were in class, I would just take a photograph of you, um, and that's what I've been doing for years, but I have a, a better way to uh, do it at home so we don't have to print anything, and let me log in. All right, so I'm logged into my Chromebook. And we're going to use this as a camera and drawing um, pad for us. Uh, and, and if you're in school and you tried to draw on your screen, I'd probably be upset. But now I'm uh, telling you to do it. Um, so you see this little circle down here on your uh, screen? I'm going to, oops, come on. Click on that circle and hit this arrow so I see all the programs that I have. And one of them down here is the actual camera. So I'm going to click on the camera, and you should be able to see yourself like I see me. And um, what I need to do is I need to take my photo. Now, this is I want a profile. Profile is from the side, okay? So maybe I'll move this like this so that you can see me, watch me do this. But I'm going to um, hold, the, hold it up like this. And there is a little, um, can you see this? See this little white dot Ooh, like right over here? That white dot is where I'm going to put my cursor. I'm putting the cursor right up there like that. And then I just have to give it one little tap. Um, or I can hit the space bar would work too when I want to take the photo. Now I want to frame my entire head. So the back of the head touching this. Yeah, I'll show you. I'm going to do that. All right. And when I click it right here on this. Oh, we can't see. Um, all right. So now I have it's if right at the bottom corner. I have a, uh, a little button here that shows the photos that we have. And there is my photo. And it is important that it goes, see how when that little strip comes up, it covers up my nose? Um, that's okay. I need it to be my nose and the back of my head. And I'm going to hit this button to try to fill up the entire screen like that. So now I'm um, ready to copy it. So I'm going to take the Chromebook and make it flat. I don't know if you can see, but it is flat on the on the table so I don't damage the screen at all. Now this is unfortunately a lot smaller. Uh, if you look at his face and my face, it's a little bit smaller than that. If you if you make it really small, if you're further away from the camera, um, that is actually not helpful at all. Uh, so I'm going to get a piece of paper and this piece of paper I'm just going to go right on top of here and try to center my head the best that I, that I can. And um, believe it or not, this works when I turn off the light. So uh, let me turn off the lights. Now I can see my head through the paper, which is really nice. Now the goal here is to try to get shapes that naturally occur in your face, on your face. Don't put new like circles and squares and things like that. You're going to actually trace the shapes that are in your head. You say, well, where are they, Mr. Lane? Well, the easiest of all of those is going to be my outline, okay? So I've got a line right there. I've got, so I'm going to outline my face, not pushing too hard so I don't hurt the screen at all. I'll probably get in trouble from the tech people uh, if we get any of these damaged screens. But I'm going to trace this, um, and I am actually going to draw my shirt 
because or my shoulders because it'd be weird and I'm gonna actually extend it I know the photo ends there but I'm just gonna bring it down like this like I think it might go so that makes sense um, an obvious place for a line is where your hair is Mr. Lynn I didn't know you had hair I do have hair not much but I do um, obviously my glasses makes a shape I might make this one shape and just like the circle drawing, we want around 25 shapes. I don't want tons and tons of shape. I can find a lot of shapes inside the eye right here. I think I'm just going to do um, a circle like this. Uh, he did a, like two shapes, maybe one for the um, actual lens. And he didn't draw his eyes. Okay, But if you don't have uh, glasses, yours might be more like a triangle. It's in the, don't try to draw an actual eye. Um, it'd be more like this, a triangle like that. Um, and uh, if you have eyebrow, I mean, if you can see your eyebrows, they're going to be up here, maybe like that. And then this is a big shape right here from this whole top of my front head. So I'm going to break that up, and I'm looking at some of the shadows that I see in here. And I'm going to try to, so that's what I mean by finding the shapes in there. There's shadows in there. The ears. Uh, you probably find hundreds of shapes in the ears, but I just want a couple. So there's one here, there's one here. It seems like one goes back there like that. Um, and I see a wrinkle in my neck right there. I'm going to draw that in. Maybe another one like that. And, you know, uh, Mr. Lane, that's not very flattering. Well, okay. Uh, don't do it on yours. Uh, so we got a chin line right here. The mouth. Uh, and the lips make kind of a uh, an appropriate shape. The nose, I'm going to finish that nose up there like that. I see a little bit of dark on the nose at the bottom, so I'm just going to draw kind of a line like that. Um, I might see how my sideburns kind of come like this, so I might just continue that line on and continue this line on to the eyes, kind of breaking up and maybe make the mouth come back like this. Uh, this seems like I see a little bit of a shadow right here might be hard to see on the screen uh, for you guys. Uh, maybe a shape here. Uh, there's definitely a shape like that. So just breaking up the shapes in the face. I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. i got about 20 shapes in just the head. Okay. So this one's going to be a little more than the, um, the painting. It's funny how small my head looks at this point. So now uh, I want to do the background. Now you can do a couple things. You can make the background. I'm going to do the. I'm going to do the shoulders. I'm just going to add some shapes that kind of come in here that make seem to make sense. Um, I'm going to. Uh, I can make the shapes, the background, the same shapes as my my head. You know, they kind of have these curvy things. I can make them very different. I can make it. You know, I could make everything in the background kind of square like that if I wanted to. Um, or I could do more of a curvy shape. Now, most people do a kind of a curvy shape in the background, just break it up. Uh, you know, if you wanted to put circles in, you could put circles in. I, I don't care. Uh, get your circle thing out and overlap it. Just do what you think looks nice, like that. Maybe, maybe one more coming down here like that. Uh, I don't want, like I said, I don't want a hundred shapes. You know, maybe fifty shapes on this one. Uh, would be good. Then I'm going to tape this down and uh, and I'll be ready for painting tomorrow. So make that your goal today is to get your face photographed and then trace by turning the lights off and be ready for tomorrow's painting. Thanks.